1965 passing of Holcomb L. Rucker, teacher, mentor, and undisputed grandfather of summer basketball competition, cast a shadow over what was then a community program that saved hundreds of Harlem youth by taking them off the streets and onto the court. When the Rucker died, we felt a great loss. Hulkin Rucker was a father to me. Embracing his legacy, two of Rucker's disciples would take what they had been given and turn a free nonprofit community event into a global phenomenon. Bob McCullough and Freddie Crawford took over the pros and made it bigger. Pace. Realizing an opportunity, Bob and Fred decided to recreate what was formerly a division in Rutgers tournament and turn it into an all-pro summer league. Vision, dreams of passion. Now showcasing the highest level of basketball competition anywhere on earth. By all accounts, it was a gamble. If they built it, they would come. And come they did. NBA and college stars, street ball legends, whoever was the best, came to the Rucker to play against the best. Bob and Fred didn't have to recruit. They all just came, looking to get better and stronger. This is all that they look for. You know, they want to play down here and, and get their reputation, you know, and play with the best talent. The effect on the community was immediate. For the thousands of Harlemites who could not afford to go to Madison Square Garden, Bob and Fred brought Madison Square Garden to them. And the crowd loved it. We'll take a look at it. What do you think? Attendance jumped from 2,000 to 5,000 to 10,000 people per game in three years. That's all part of the uh, charm here at the Rucker Tournament in Harlem. Basketball fans from all over the world came to see the street legends play the pros. More times than not, the street legends would win. Crowd to its feet. Look at the reaction from the crowd. They loved it, and so did we. With so much talent in one place, it wasn't long before the college and NBA scouts came in abundance, scouring for undiscovered gems. It was just a very exciting experience up there, simply because of the fact that the greatest basketball players in the world were up there. If you didn't play in the Rucker Professional Tournament, you wasn't a ball player. There was only one major tournament in New York then, and that was the Holcomb Rucker Tournament. I thought it was like a rock concert because there were more people than I had ever seen in my life from an outdoor basketball game. The crossovers, no-look passes, and dunks we recognize as today's game would not have come about if it were not for the brand of basketball, born out of the crucible of the Rucker Pro Tournament. A testament to the personal sacrifice and vision of two men who dare to dream bigger for their community and for the game they love.